Hello everyone. In in the last video we have seen like how to create a storage account. So in this video we are going to start with SQL database. How to use Azure SQL database? How to create a SQL database? So that we are going to see in this video. SQL is one of the important feature and mostly in a company we use as a relational database services SQL database. So let's see how actually we can use and how actually we can create. So I have logged into I have logged into the Microsoft Azure in a portal.azure.com. Once you will log in, you will get to see this particular screen. If you can see in the top, you can see SQL database. If you will click from here also you can create on the left side from here also you will get to see SQL database option. But in the search option that is the one of the best click SQL database okay once you will click on the SQL database this particular screen will come okay now it is asking like create a SQL database we have from if you will click on the create a SQL database from here also you can create and there is one more option the create button from here also you can create I'll click I will click on the create a SQL database once you will click this particular screen will come okay so it is asking like the subscription whatever the subscription you have you have to select it once you select the subscription it is asking the resource group I have already created one resource group if you haven't created resource group you have to click on the create new you have to give a name then the resource group will be created in Azure if you are working and if you are creating any kind of the services first you should have a subscription and after that you have resource group and after that you have to create a that particular services here we are going to create a SQL database so it is asking like you have to give the database name so I am giving a database name as a POC database testing make sure it should be unique okay after that it is asking for the server so server is very important you have to create a server okay click on this create new button once you will click on the create new it is asking for the server name so you have to give the server name also i am giving as a poc database server make sure it should be unique it is saying like it is already in use i am giving a different name and which location you want to use I am selecting as a East US but based on the your location you can select it now after that it is asking for the authentication we have a three authentication method one is like use SQL authentication another is Azure Active Directory and third one is the SQL and Azure AD the simple way is like use SQL authentication you have to give the admin login name so I am giving admin login name as my name Okay, after that we have to give a password. So whenever you will log into this uh, SQL server, it will ask the username and password. Okay. So we have to give the server name, we have to give the location, we have to give the authentication method and we have to click on the OK. Once you will click on the OK, this server is already got created. Okay. Now it is asking for the one to use SQL Elastic Pool. This all we will see later. As of now, I am going with her by default. After that, it is asking for the compute and storage. Okay, click on this compute and storage. And now, if you can see, we have a different option. Now, if you will see the option which is by default general purpose. If you see for this option, for this, it is costing me 372.56 USD. But as of now, we are just using it for the practice purpose. So we are going with the basic. And the basic also just select it as a okay. The two GB is fine, and it is costing me four point nine zero USD. Okay, so for the basic purpose, we can use that. Okay. So once you select the compute and storage, now you have to go into the backup storage redundancy. And this all the things, what is this and all, everything we will see onto the 
in the next lecture as of now i am going with the byte info click on the networking whether uh, network connectivity no access public endpoint private endpoint i am giving a public endpoint allow azure asset and source to access the servers yes yes okay so that i can access directly so that's why i am selecting public endpoint and the access the networking after that we have to click on the security In the security option click on the start prefab and after that we have another option but as of now you can go with by default now in the additional setting you can see that we have option of the data source we have a backup and sample so there are some sample data if you will select on the sample you will get to see like by default some database will be there and table will be there okay so as we are doing it for the learning purpose so i am going with the sample database okay after that we have to click on the tags you can give the name poc database poc database okay click on the review and create once you will click on this create it will start validating okay now you can see in the notification window it is start validating and the deployment is also in the progress so we have to wait for that now you can see it start deployment is in progress we have to wait for it to be completed let's wait okay so this all are the things are very important from the perspective of the data factory when we are going to start with the data factory we should have a data right so we should have a data into sql database we should have a data into a storage account that's why i have selected this topic first so that whenever we will do a practical labs and whenever we will try to understand the architecture like how actually data is flowing so this will be very helpful like uh, we will be having a data into sql database and uh, we will be having a data into a storage account and uh, we can create a data pipeline and we can see all the activities so that's why i have selected the storage account which we have seen on the last video if you haven't seen that video please do see that video and after that come to this sql database video and uh, once we will create after that we will move into the data factory where so first we will start with the data factory where actually we will see all the architecture like how the data will be flowing how in real world how we create a data pipeline how actually the data is flowing from the sql database and how actually we can store into a storage account how from the storage account we can uh, do a etl and we can store into a database so this all the activity and different kind of the data factory pipeline creation and all everything we will see okay anyway the theory part uh, also we will cover it later but uh, as this course is mostly about the practical so in the practical way we will see and the theory part we will also cover but uh, uh, for the idea perspective what is important so that is the thing which i am covering first and after that we will move into the Uh, ADM, okay. You can see deployment is in progress. We have to wait. I think it will complete in one minute. Okay, till then you can explore this uh, as well. So you can see uh, this recent like the in recent like whatever the activity you are doing that is coming, and also this notification window. Uh, you can see deployment is succeed. Just click on the go to resource. Okay. Once you will click on this go to resource, this particular uh, database, right? What is the database which we have created? That is coming. Okay. Now this is the overview page where you can see all the resource group name, location, whatever you have selected. Now if you will go down, okay, there is one option like query editor. Okay, click on this query editor. It is asking the login and the password. so while creating we have given a login and password name right 
that we have to give click on the ok so it started logging in now you can see this is the particular database and server we have created we have logged in now this screen if you are seeing right this is the query editor window here actually you can write a query in the left side you can see what are the table because while creating SQL database we have created a sample table right so these are the table which is already available now if you want to query it you can query it like I want to query this sales product like let, let's see customer information click on the run you can see bottom it is showing query running 6 seconds so this is the data label now with this data you can do any kind of the transformation in IDF so this is the table actually we can use if you want to see another table like uh, sales we have a product information also run that you can see by default this table is there so this all the data we can use in our ADF also okay. you can see the product information and we can do uh, some kind of the transformation and so this is the query editor so this is how actually we create a SQL server SQL database and this this is how actually we log in and we do a query so that's it in this video if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe my channel and we will see you soon.